So an update on my hot wire cutter. The transformer that I bought burned out. So apparently these doorbell transformers are not meant for continuous use, just for uh, instantaneous on and off type of thing to ring a doorbell. So the primary winding burned out because I measured the resistance on this and it's uh, open. But I purchased a heavy duty transformer off of eBay for about $21. So hopefully that will work a lot better than the doorbell. But in the meantime, I wanted to try a computer power supply. This is a 250 watt power supply. And it says plus five volts can support up to 25 amps. And at 12 volts it can support up to 13 amps. So I'm going to hook this up, the uh, plus five to the wire and see how much amps it draws. Um, I looked up the nichrome calculator and it said about 7 volts at 1.2 amps would be enough for a 11 inch wire. But this isn't nichrome, this is stainless steel. And I don't think the resistance for stainless steel is the same as nichrome. I measured this whole thing from here to here and it's 14 0.2 ohms and I plug that into a, the ohms law and joules law and it came out to about 0.825 amps required to make this hot I guess so you jumper the green wire to ground to a black wire and that acts like you're turning on your computer so running off of uh, that 5 volts let me switch it over to amps, and we'll see how many amps this 30-gauge uh, stainless steel wire will pull. This is about 11 inches from down here to up here. So about 1.8 went up to 2 amps. And it'll drop down to about 0.8 amps. This piece of foam, and you see at 5 volts at about 1.8 amps, it cuts through the foam like you wouldn't believe. I'm going to see if I can get a reading on the, on the temperature on this. Holding a piece of foam behind this so it's not getting any erroneous readings from the wall behind it, hopefully. It's up to 190, 200 degrees right now, 250. The foam around it's melting, so. So this is five volts at about anywhere from 1.8 amps to two amps. So, so far this is about 284 and it's climbing. But I don't know how accurate this is reading off of the surface of the foam. Just running off of a old computer power supply. This is rated at 5 volts at 25 amps and it's only pulling maximum of 2 amps. So there's no way that this thing's going to overload. So what I'm doing here is taking all these extra wires out. I'm leaving the power on wire, the ground wire, and uh, the plus five volts wire. And uh, I'm gonna desolder the rest of these wires just so I don't have a mess all over the place. So now I have all the unnecessary wires desoldered off of the uh, PCB board on the uh, power supply. So I have just a regular light switch hooked up to the uh, green cable and a ground, which is the on off uh, sensor for this power supply. And you can hear the fan kick in, and then... So I mounted the light switch on the side where the other light switch and the uh, dimmer was. If this works better than the AC transformer, I may just keep this and keep the AC transformer for another project.
See how easy it is to cut these rounded areas on this template with this hot wire with a with a knife it'd be a pretty much a nightmare. And see how clean it comes out. So this transformer burned out after cutting these two little pieces out. This computer power supply has lasted, you know, this pretty big wing. So I'm uh, hopeful that it will last me more than just, you know, 10 minutes of cutting.